Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Electrical and Instrumentation Engineering. In my previous video, I have explained you about direct online starter regarding power diagram and control diagram. The link is given in the description box. The video is available in English, Hindi and Canada. Today, we will concentrate on forward reverse starter. How forward reverse starter works and what is the power diagram and control diagram of forward reverse starter. So, look at the screen. I have shown you the all the components which are required for the forward and reverse starter. See here, here is a bus bar is available, R phase, Y phase, B phase. This is a 450 nodes, 3 phase, 3 wire, 50 hertz bus bar. And after the bus bar, we have added 3 fuses. It are named as F1, F2 and F3. And after that, we have added 2 power contactors that is called K1 and K2. And after K power contactors, we have added overload relay. That is shortly we called as a OLR. And then three phase induction motor this is a final control element. These are the power con power circuit control elements. So next we will add the control transformer elements. This is CTF shortly we have called. It is a control transformer 415 bar 110 volt AC. And then MCB two pole MCV. And then overload relay NC contact, stop push button NC contact, and start push button forward rotation NO contact. And then NO contact of this K1 power contactor and K2 power contactor NC contact and the K1 power contactor coil here. And then K2 power contactor coil added here. K1 power contactors NC contactor and NO contact of this K2 power contactor and start push button for reverse rotation. So these are the components required for forward and reverse starter. So let's see. How power diagram and control diagram can draw using these components. Now we have extended R phase, Y phase and B phase up to the fuse incoming terminals. From fuse outgoing terminals, we have extended R phase, Y phase, B phase up to the K1 power contactors incoming terminals. Here we have taken tapping from K1 power contactor in incoming terminals up to the K2 power contactor incoming terminals. Observe here. R phase and B phase have been replaced so that motor power direction direction will be changed when K2 power contactor actuates and the K1 K1 power contactor actuates then motor direction will be changed. For reference, K1 power contactor is used as a forward contactor and K2 power contactor can be used as a reverse direction. Let's see how this circuit works. Now we have connected the bus bar between K1 power contactor and the overload relay incoming terminals. Similarly, from K2 outgoing terminal, we have connected to the overload relay. The overload relay is common between the forward power contactor and the reverse power contactor. Now, we have laid the cable between overload relay and the three phase induction motor. From overload relay outgoing terminal, we have connected the cable up to the three phase induction motor. This is how power diagram of forward reverse starters look like. After learning the power diagram, now we will learn the control diagram. Look at the screen, we have taken tapping from R phase and Y phase up to the control transformer incoming terminal. This is the 415 volt DC we have applied at the primary side of the control transformer. Now from secondary side of the control transformer, 110 volt DC will be produced. This 110 volt DC we have applied up to the MCB, 2 pole MCB incoming terminal. Red phase is indicated as a phase and black phase indicated as a neutral. Let's understand how neutral is connected from MCB output terminal. Look at the screen. The MCB is receiving the neutral at the incoming side. From outgoing side, the MCB neutral is extended up to the K1 power contactor's A2 terminal. This is the K1 power contactor and here is the A2 terminal. The neutral is connected here. I have shown you in the control diagram up to the A2 terminal. And similarly, we have taken neutral from common point up to the K1, K2 power contactor's A2 terminal. This is the K2 power contactor and A2 terminal is available here. The neutral is connected here. So I have shown in the diagram up to the A2 terminal of the K2 coil. After understanding the neutral connection up to the K1 and K2 coil, now let's see how phase connected. See here, so phase is receiving at the incoming side of the MCV terminal and from outgoing terminal phase is extended up to the overload relay NC contact. This is the overload relay. Here is the NC contact, here is the NC co NO contact. We have connected the overload relay in the NC contact. Now, the control supply is passed through NC contact up to the NC contact of the push button. 
see here the nc contact is applied here and it is passing through nc contact up to the push button nc contact incoming side this is the stop push button it consists of a nc contact nc contact means normally closed contact now extending the phase from stop push button nc contact up to the start push button no contact this is the forward rotation stop push button we have connected the phase from stop push button nc contact to start push button no contact and extending this no contact from start start push button up to the no contact of k1 see here this is the k1 power contactor this is the no contact and the left side is the nc contact we have extended we have taken parallel connection from start push button to no contact of this k1 and then we have taken the common point of phase up to the start push button for reverse direction rotation this is also no contact and we have connected up to the incoming terminal of this no contact and extending the parallel power supply up to the k2 power contactors no contact this is the k2 power contactor and here is the no contact we have taken a parallel connection from reverse start push button up to the no contact of the k2 power contactor now let's understand how the supply is extended from forward push button see here after receiving the incoming terminal for power supply so now we will extend the power supply to the outgo from outgoing terminals see here start push button we have extended power supply to the parallel contact of no contact this k1 see here already we are receiving the power supply from parallel push button to here and this connection will be connected at this point okay after the completing this connection from start push button we will connect up to the k2 power contact with nc contact this is the nc contact of k2 power contactor it is provided here because to energize the k1 power contactor's coil k2 power contactor must be in open condition when k2 power contactor is open condition this contact will be in nc contact when k2 power contactor is on this will become no and it will not allow a control supply to flow up to the k1 power contactor coil and energize the coil after ensuring the k2 power contactor nc contact this is the interlock for the system the power supply the control supply will flow from nc contact up to the k1 power contactor a1 terminal this is the k1 power contactor a1 uh, a1 terminal and this is the a2 terminal already neutral is connected here now the phase is connected here similarly we will draw the connection for reverse rotation push button see here here we have taken tapping from parallel connection from start push button of reverse contact up to the no contact of this k2 terminal this is the no contact of this k2 terminal we have taken parallel connection from here and then we have extended from start push button uh, output terminal up to the k1 power contactor nc contact this is the k1 power contactor and this is the nc contact we have connected from start push button to nc contact this k1 power contactor nc contact is is provided here because to give a interlock when k1 power contactor is on this nc contact will be open it will not allow power supply to extend up to the k2 power uh, k2 power contactor and turn on the k2 power contactor when k1 power contactor is off condition then this will be the normally closed contact and the control supply will extend up to the a1 terminal of k2 power contactor after providing the interlock of k1 power contactor now the control supply is extended through nc contact of k1 power contactor up to the k1 k2 power contactor a1 terminal this is the k2 power contactor this is the a1 terminal and a2 terminal a2 terminal is already connected with the neutral now a1 terminal receiving the control supply phase now we will learn the working animation of this power and control circuit look at the screen the from bus bar the supply is extended through fuses up to the power contactors incoming terminal k1 power contactor and k2 power contactor through fuse r phase y phase b phase is extended up to the both power contactors incoming terminals and the dotted lines from r phase and y phase is connected to the primary side of the control transformer and control transformer is providing output voltage for up to the mcb incoming terminals now this two pole mcb is receiving the 110 volt is the phase here and neutral here after closing this mcb the power supply will extend like this the a neutral will extend up to the a2 power contactor uh, k1 power contactors a2 terminal and k2 power contactors a2 terminal and the phase is extended from overload relay contact the overload relay is not tripped hence the phase is extended through nc contact to push button nc contact here the push button is not pressed hence the a phase is extended 
from push button up to the end of contact of forward rotation push button. Here forward rotation push button is not present, hence the supply is not extended. And from parallel contact of the forward push button, the phase is extended up to the end of contact of K1. Here the K1 power contactor is not on, hence the power the control supply is not extended from K1 power contactor end of contact. And the common point of the stop push after push stop push button uh, uh, phase, the supply is extended up to the start push button reverse rotation incoming terminal push button. See here, the phase is not extended from this push button because this push button has not been placed. And we have taken parallel contact from this push button up to the end of contact of this K2 power contactor. Here, the K2 power contactor is in off condition, hence the supply is not extended. Now, let's assume we have pressed this uh, start, start push button forward rotation uh, push button. So, after pushing this start push button, the uh, control supply will extend uh, this from this contact. Here, NO contact will become NC contact after pressing the push button. The control supply will extend up to the K2 power contactor's NC contact. This is the K2 power contactor. And this power contactor is in off condition. Hence, the supply will extend through NC contact of K2 power contactor and reaches to the A1 terminal of K1 power contactor coil. This is the A1 power contactor. is neutral is connected here and the phase will reach here. After reaching the phase and neutral up to the A1 and A2 terminal of K1 power contactor coil, this contactor will close and how this contactor will power power supply, let's see. Now, this K1 power contactor is receiving the control supply up to the A1 and A2 terminal. Hence, the inside this power contactor, the strips will close and it will allow the power supply to flow to the air overload relay and to motor. See here, the R phase and Y phase, B phase are extended up to the overload relay and from there, it is extended to the motor. And the now motor is started uh, rotating in the forward direction. Observe here, after closing the K1 power contactor, the inner contact of this K1 power contactor will become NC contact. After releasing the push button, the control supply will flow through this NC contact and reaches up to the K1 power contactor coil continuously. Because the contactor is on, the status of this NO contact has become NC contact. This. Now, let's assume we have pressed this push button. So, after pressing this push button, the NC contact of this stop push button will become NO contact. Hence, the uh, control supply will not extend from this push button and it will stop K1 power contactors and K2 power contactors control supply. That means it will cut off the motor uh, power contactors which is turned on. After releasing the stop push button, again the control supply will flow like this and reaches up to the forward push button incoming terminal and reverse push button incoming terminal as shown on the screen. Now, we will test the reverse push button. Let's assume we have pressed this reverse push button and the NO contact will become NC contact and the control supply is extended through reverse push button NC contact up to the K1 power contactor NC contact. See here, K1 power contactor is in off condition. Hence, the N through NC contact, the control supply will flow up to the K2 power contactor's coil A1 terminal. This is the K2 power contactor. It is the A1 terminal and A2 terminal. A2 terminal is already receiving the neutral. Now, A1 terminal has received the phase. So, let's see how this K2 power contactor will on and provide power supply up to the motor terminal. After turning on the K2 power contactor, strips inside this K2 power contactor will close and which will allow extending the power supply from incoming terminals to the outgoing terminal. Look at the screen. Here, the phase has been reversed to rotate the motor in reverse direction. R phase and B phase has been reversed and it is reaching through overload relay contact up to the three phase induction motor. Now, the motor is rotating in the reverse direction. Now, we will understand the latching circuit of the reverse rotation push button. So, after releasing this push button, the K2 power contactor has been closed condition. Hence, this NO contact status will be changed to NC contact. And the, after releasing this push button, the control supply will flow from this NC contact. This become NC contact up to the K1 power contactor NC contact. This K1 power contactor is in off condition. Hence, this will stay as a NC contact and it will allow the control supply to flow up to the K2 power contactor's coil. Hence, this motor will be turned on in reverse direction. Now, this contact has become a no contact because now K2 power contactor is in off condition, on condition. Hence, 
it even you after pressing this push button the supply will extend up to the nc contact only it will not extend up to the k1 power contactor coil because k2 power contactor is running dear on thank you for watching this video if you like this video please like share and subscribe and if you have any queries related to electrical and instrumentation engineering please give a comment in my comment section keep learning and stay updated